Hey, what's going on guys? How you guys doing out there? How you guys doing? It is Thursday afternoon. I actually had I had full plans of actually shooting this video in a um a really nice location. You know, give you guys some um just to give you guys a little bit of uh you know motivation and, and some tips and things of that nature, but of course every time I decide to go shoot a video outside the freaking wind is blowing and I, I don't want to have the wind in the video so I am actually coming to you guys live I'm sitting in the line to pick up my son from school and I'm actually sitting in the back seat of my Mini Cooper I know that sounds kind of crazy but I actually took the um excuse me I actually took my passenger seat out um I'll show you guys I actually took my passenger seat out of my car uh, just because um, I want to clean under there as you can see I still got a little bit of trash in it because the seat's been out for a little while now um, my son actually enjoys not having the seat in here so I want to clean under there get in it real good and then um I'm actually hold on for one second I'm gonna switch it back around finally um, I actually I actually need to get the um the seat repaired too. Um, this the, the threading is starting to come loose on the side of the leather seat, so I'm actually getting ready to get that repaired. So, um, I took the seat out nonetheless, you know. So it's pretty cool, you know. I didn't know that the back seats in this car was so god awful uncomfortable, but uh, they are. Thank God that I, I'm always in the driver's seat because I'm the only one to drive my Mini Cooper. My wife she doesn't know how to drive a um a state a straight shift. And um, I do so, you know, I'm the only person that ever drives me a Mini Cooper and I kind of like it. <laughs> but anyhow, guys, uh, more importantly, uh, today was a beautiful day. Um, great day at home. Um, for those who are learning, to, you know, that's, that's in the um, in the training uh, group with me, you know, I actually had a almost $3,000 day. Uh, most of it was made in like less than 10 minutes um, just because I, I caught the trade at the right time and I loaded up my lots and, um, well it cashed out very well so you know the training continues the training continues the learning continues but guys what I want to really speak on today is um, it is tax season guys it is tax season it is tax season 2016 so people have money in their pockets um, because they're getting their tax refunds back and um, you know they're out spending their money putting money into the economy and everything else and so times are pretty good for most people in the country but the problem is is that these people who are getting this money back including you because there are business owners that's on my on my on my Facebook page who are, who are getting their tax money back including you guys and you're not doing the right thing with your tax money you're, you're really not what you should be doing with your tax money instead of going out paying off all these bills that you accrued throughout the Christmas season and the fall when things were really rough what you should be doing with that money instead of going and spending two hundred and fifty dollars on a pair of freaking Nike phone pauses, which is just a bunch of plastic and rubber put together. I mean, that's fucking and stupid. Um, excuse my language, but it is what it is. You know, or running out to, to every store that releases a new pair of Jordans every damn week to put some new shoes on your feet for your kids or whatever. What you should be doing with your tax refund is investing it dare I even say this don't even take the money and go on and make repairs in the house you need to invest the money flip the money and then you take the profits from that money and you go and you repair you still shouldn't do nothing stupid like spend $250 on a pair of LeBron's or phone pauses or Jordan's that's absolutely stupid you still shouldn't do that that's that's just being a dumbass and excuse my language but it is what it is I'm gonna just be keeping I'm keeping it 100 today guys you know so what you should do what you should do with your tax refund money you should go out and invest your money into a business if there's something that you've been wanting to do uh, to generate income or if you're saying this is gonna be your breakout year that you're gonna walk away from your job then why are you blowing your 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 your, your new little nest egg of money on stupid frivolous things like going out buying crown vicks and putting 24 inch rims on these damn cars and the cars break down on you in the next couple of months or going out buying a car that you really can't afford just because they said they will finance it for you and then in june your car get repoed that's stupid either way or better yet this is the best one i've heard yet there are actually people that go out and rent cars for weeks and months at a time when they get the tax money back so they can show off and stump in front in front of their friends and, and family members 
And then when the tax money run out, they're flat broke and they're back walking again. Now, that is the dumbest, the dumbest shit I have ever heard. And I'm just being real with you guys. What you should be doing with your money is taking it and investing it. Um, if you don't want to open a traditional business up, you may want to try opening up a home-based business. You should be investing your money. You should be investing that tax money. State tax, federal tax, take that money. Put it into something that's going to generate a cash flow for you. Because guess what? Now times are good, but guess what? In August, well better yet, in May, when the tax money run out, you're going to be broke again. In August, you're going to be broke. You're In September, you're going to be broke. Christmas time is going to come around. You're going to be desperate trying to find money to go and get Christmas gifts again. Why don't you do something smart? Take your tax money and invest that money and go and do something for yourself. You know, be it um, a home-based business, a traditional business. Um, if you want to do like me, I'm learning to trade Forex. You can, you can, you can find one of these groups and learn so you can learn so you can be able to make money guys if you keep doing the same things over and over and over every year that you get tax money you're gonna keep going through the same shit every year over and over and over and that's being broke the remainder of the year May 2016 that changed for yourself guys really I mean I mean come on man we're supposed to be adults out here we got we got kids I mean I got kids I got a son that's gonna be 18 in two more years I can't be playing around. I don't play around. That's why I go as hard as I go. You know, and, you know, two weeks ago, my wife and I found out that we about to have a, a new baby on the way. Um, hopefully, it'll be a little girl because I want me a little girl. I do. I, I really do because my sons, sometimes they drive me freaking crazy. I love my boys, but I want me a little girl this time around, you know. Um, it's kind of unexpected, you know, but, hey, it is what it is. I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. I can't wait. September we're gonna have our new little one at the house so that's good stuff but guys that's why you know I'm working as hard as I am and I'm working diligently as I am because 20 2004 I wanted to fire my job 2016 I'm trying to fire myself I don't want to work for myself now I want to make money work for me now and I've been doing it on the low a little bit, but I really want to make money work for me. I want to totally be in the fourth quadrant. And if it, for you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, pick up the book Cash Flow Quadrant and go read it. I want to be totally in the fourth quadrant after this year. I want to be a total I want to be an investor totally. 100% without a doubt. I don't want to touch anything to make money. Guys, hold on. I got to hop in the front seat. I didn't realize the cup was moving. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this is crazy anyhow guys we're moving I'm I'm actually going to get my son now but here's here's my here's my thing to you guys go out take that tax money and invest it in the opportunity instead of blowing the money guys oh and shout out to the people who made my first million dollar movement hat for me a lot more to come I'm loving it anyhow I got to get ready to pick my son up I know I went a little too long and I want to but I want to I want to drill this point to everybody who's out there listening stop making the same mistakes over and over. okay guys um i i got disconnected now uh, the, the 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 signal is kind of crappy over here but anyhow let me finish up guys go out there and do something for yourself invest in yourself go out there and make it happen and guys if you don't have if you don't know of a way that you can go out and um have a home-based business or you want to learn how to make money all you have to do is just go to the website that's right on my cover photo and put it in your web browser go to my website and learn more and learn about what I do learn how I wake up the emails of money being deposited in my bank account every single day guys and if you're watching this video on YouTube all you have to do is just be right here across this right across this video feed my website and you can go to the website from that point on and learn more anyhow guys the line is starting to move again it's crazy but I'm out. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Thursday. I'm definitely going to enjoy mine. I got to, you know, once I pick my son up, I'm actually going back home to do some more studying um, for Forex and do some more marketing for MCA and some of the other stuff that I do to make money online. Anyhow, guys, it's all about multiple streams of income. It's all about bettering yourself. It's all about moving to the next level. Peace and blessings. Take care.